Um, hi, Cecily. Um, this is my poem. I've taken my memory for granted. The memories that once filled my brain up to the brim and spilled over like a cascade of tears have left me lonesome. Don't get me wrong, the baseball games and caps and windbreakers still remain. The summer days with plastic purple heels and buckets full of dandelions fully intact. The early mornings spent in flannel pajama shirts and cereal boxes as pants engraved in stone. But the little things, the things that mean the most, I can't seem to remember. When I think of you, I think of the ocean, washing the ground with a gentle touch like the lips of a newborn, shaking irresolute thoughts away as if they were grains of sand, slipping through widespread fingers. You lapped up debris and litter like the scary monsters from my closet and carried them far away from us. When I think of you, I think of your humor, a constant in your life, a never-ending river of satin ribbons, but those ribbons are now ripping at my neck and dancing through my hair like dainty fairies, fairies that were woven into my childhood from the stories you tell. When I think of you, I think of an oak tree, foliage like your somehow unruly yet maintained tumbleweed of a beard, trunk like your solid chest pier of undilated acceptance, roots like your arms there to hold me when I need reassurance. When I think of you, I think of your smile, your toothy grin obscured within your decayed thoughts, thoughts that were scattered through your confused and disintegrating mind. When I think of you, I think of the wind. Bitter slaps against my face from between voices I can't seem to remember, bite so chilly, streaking tears go unnoticed. How will loud enough to silence my pleas for one more word? When I think of you, I think of a wilting flower, your aspect slowly dying from my memory, personality floating away like dead pink petals, voice drifting from me in the wind like pollen from a forgotten flower. When I think of you, I get angry at myself for allowing the feeling of your warmth when you held me as a child to drift away, for allowing the feeling of your hands from when they protected me from the monsters in my closet to drift away, for not caring enough to memorize how your voice fluctuated as you spoke when I think of you, I think of your funeral. Blood spot littered cheeks tattooed in my skin for days. Tissues ground up to dust from incessant nose blowings and tear sweepings, ache once foreign and now a replacement shoulder, and I cry. I cry for all the times I fell and cut my knees on the harsh pavement and you were there to pick me up. I cry for all the times mom was away at the military and you were there to console me. I cry for all the times I try to remember your laugh or your hands or your voice, your voice, but your voice is transitory and I can't seem to summon the tug at my heart from when you spoke. And as much as I want to remember, my memory is failing me, just like your heart did to you. <laughs>